We're Dirty Gaming and Regilod taking that 200 gigabyte ultimate build that then turned into a 128 and is now a 64 gigabyte. So good news here. So no matter what size your SD card, you can start on a cool little build here and it is a very full build. So let's go ahead and check it out. While I have you though, one other announcement is the 128 gigabyte version of this image, which was a little too big in my opinion for most SD cards, so a lot of people had issues with it. It is now re-released with a smaller download size, so it will now work. So that's the one you wanna go for, is the recently reloaded version of the 128. So let's go ahead and check out this 64 gigabyte. All right, so here we are, and uh, one of the biggest changes that I think a lot of people may appreciate is there's no more strippers on the splash screen. I don't know if they're still in the splash screen folder, but they're no longer there, so it is kid-friendly now, especially on first boot. But you can obviously add them back in if you'd like. Something that makes this image so cool is all the overclock scripts. It has a track mode. It has Easy Hacks Toolkit on here. It has a lot of the Motion Blue version 8 or Motion Blue version, what version are we on? But the latest Motion Blue where you don't need a keyboard to use a lot of these scripts and it has additional scripts like lo loading boot screens, uh, you know, all sorts of, um, you know, editing as far as bezels, things that you can make your experience better on RetroPie. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what the 64 gigabyte has. It's gonna probably have a lot less CD based games to fit them all on here. Let's see if we still have video snaps Okay, so we still have video snaps, JPEGs, and then video snaps here. So Atari 2600, 648. Atari 7800, 58. Atari Lynx, 76. Wonder Swan Color, 84. TurboGrafx 16, 94. Super, Super Graphics, 5. Game & Watch, 55. Game Boy, 565. Game Boy Hacks, 19. Game Boy Color, 535. So Game Boy Advance, here's where a lot of the games were probably taken out. Only 150. Now these do have the bezels, and they should also have, yep, loading screens, so loading video screens. This is a new feature on one of the latest retro pies. Before it was just images, and now we have pictures. And I just want to show you guys the bezels really quick. This should have some pretty sweet bezels on here. Yeah, there we go. Nice, so running good. Let's go ahead and back out and continue on. Uh, Game Boy Hacks 26, Nintendo DS, now this is really cool, a lot of images don't have Nintendo DS on them, so it's cool that they left those on there, Mario Party, Mario's Donkey Kong, Star Wars, Legend of Zelda, Top Spin 3, Nintendo 791, Nintendo Hacks 6, SNES 787, Super Nintendo Hacks 37, Nintendo 64 35, so nice to see that there's still some Nintendo 64 games on here, here they are in case you were curious. Tony Hawk 1, 2, 3, Tark 1 and 2. And these are going to run better. I'm on the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. It's a little bit faster. Game Gear, you got 249. Game Gear Hacks 4, SG-1000, 68. Sega Master System, 281. Sega Mega Drive, 784. Genesis, 192. 32X, 36. So here's where they took some games out. Sega CD, only three. Dragon's Lair, Space 8, and The Secret of Monkey Island. So you'll have to add your own Terminator or Sonic or any of those other games you want to play there. Dreamcast. Two games, Crazy Taxi and Marvel vs. Capcom. Like, I don't know, Crazy Taxi does not run that great. It's playable, it just doesn't run that great on the Pi yet. Neo Geo Pocket Color 40, Neo Geo 146. Uh, minis, these are pretty small files. Looks like, though, they're only showing you the the logo. No, um... Okay, you do get videos. Okay, there it goes. Cool. PlayStation 15, so a lot less here. To save some space but still some good games here if you guys like tony hawk this image has a ton of tony hawks so huge arcade uh collection 2355 and this should be all updated with the latest config files so it should be all run really good light gun games if you guys want to set up like a dolphin uh style stick or something like that um you could definitely do that and cool little light gun collection so great for a bar top cpc 3277 MSX 567, MSX 280, 
three PC games 95 so a lot of um, pinball games by the way it's not 87 though because there's folders in here it's more like 2025 there scum VM 13 games so some good ones on here leisure suit Larry no full throttle though come on where's the full throttle Z Machine 3, you got Zork Sports, you got, uh, these are just shortcuts to what you're about to see next. You can stream your Steam games, you can go on Chromium, which will allow you to watch Netflix. You have the Jukebox, which is actually kind of cool, there's some music already on here and you can add your own. You can turn your Pi into a, uh, you know, a, a media server or, a, you know, a media center in front of your computer. Kodi 1, Pixel 1, and then Easy Power Shutdown Script, there's a restart and shutdown inside of there. And then back to setup. Um, there is no all games, so let's go ahead and add all games. And then also see what kind of collections we have here. So let's do all games last played back. And then as far, let's go back again. It's going to take a second. By the way, while that's loading, let me go ahead and right click the file size here. After you extract the file, you're going to be left with a 58.1 gigabyte file. So plenty of space depending on what SD card you have on it. And uh, that's 62 million 398. 62 billion 398 million 88 thousand bytes okay as far as um, themes you got dark switch and blu-ray but you can download more if you like uh, it should not be overclocked to start but if you want to overclock it um, it should be fairly easy to do that with that script that I showed you earlier so last play you got a hundred games here we'll, we'll be playing some Cody some jukebox some ports three two one super crash my man <laughs> f-zero um, some good games here, so we, you can see that. Favorites, you can add more, but he has two, Super Mario Advance and Chrono Trigger, great game right there. And then all games, so even though it's only a 64 gigabyte image with video snaps, um, this number is a little misleading because there's some folders in here that are counting as multiple files, but whatever the case be, it's probably close to 11,500, I would say, or 11,000, which is pretty impressive, but you do have a lot of like systems where you do have a ton, a ton of games. Now, let's go ahead and show you track mode really quick, so we're going to go to the RetroPie setup and then switch to a track mode over here. By the way, it does have the Team ZT installer, which is an easy way to add more ROMs, but this thing's already pretty much has all your ROMs, so there's not much you're going to get out of that, but um, you do have that pre-installed for you. All right, so here we are into a track mode, and this is kind of a HyperPi-esque style, and it is a nested system. So, for example, we could go into console. All right, can I get to the one? Right. One up, baby. Actually runs really good as far as hard scrolls. I'm looking for plock. There we go. I just love this game. All right, let's get it. Look at this bezel project. This one's actually really cool for plock. Interesting that he has two jumps like Mario. Yeah. Hey, this isn't my flag. Dude just needs his flag. So there you have it, Weird Dirty Gaming and Regilod helping with the attract mode side of things have delivered a really nice 64 gigabyte image and I can't believe they packed this much stuff on while still having video snaps. Now as you saw, most collections were full, the games that weren't was like Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, um, Nintendo 64, um, Dreamcast, Sega CD, and uh, PlayStation, uh, also PSP Minis. 
but for the most part, other than that, I mean, there's some pretty massive collection of Scum DM as well. There was just select games. But uh, a lot of add-ons, a lot of scripts. I gotta give this one an A. I mean, a lot of the 64 gigabyte is by far the best bang for your buck at like a right around twenty dollars for an SD card. That's pretty dang good. The 128 though is getting cheaper. So uh, between this 64 and they re-released the 128, I gotta give them both thumbs up. Way to go. They're now really, really squared away, nice. And they got rid of the strippers. So I have nothing to knock these on anymore. So really good stuff. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.